This is Tom from Tom Tutorials here today. And I'm going to be showing you a little review about iOS 8. So the first things that I'm going to be telling you guys right now is I'm not really so happy about iOS 8. They didn't really add a lot and it's kind of hard to tell the difference, the new features that they added. Basically it looks very similar to iOS 7 and basically the only way to tell that it's not is by this first new feature that they added is the control center. So basically they just made it look more aesthetically pleasing, uh, I guess, and yeah, it still looks pretty much the same as the same features, flashlight, calculator, camera, whatever. Uh, so yeah, now they added the, the another new feature in the notification center, so let's just slide down here. And they made it look a little bit more aesthetically pleasing as well as the, the control center. Uh, they removed the three tabs as you can see there's only one and two and they added basically you can edit the today mode let's just click edit and then we can include things we can change the order of things oh uh, yeah and it doesn't really give you too much customization like on Android and things like that but it's still I mean it's, it's pretty cool so basically the next thing I'm gonna be showing you guys is a Siri thing that they added so they made it so that when you say a certain voice command and your iPhone has to be plugged in, Siri will automatically be listening to you. So let's just display this real quick. Hey Siri, set a reminder for me tomorrow to go to the store. Here's your reminder for tomorrow at 9 a.m. It says, me to go to the store. There we go. Shall I create it? Yeah, go ahead and create it. Okay, I'll remind you. Yeah, as you can see, Siri isn't still that good, but I mean, it works, so I'm I'm pretty happy with it. So, yeah, I I, I like I like that they added that, but the only thing that I don't like is that you have to plug it in actually for this Hey Siri thing to work. I'm gonna be showing you guys right now. The next thing is basically Apple's. They apparently claim to have unlocked a lot of new developer features. So here's one of the things that they did indeed unlock. So I downloaded this app called Swift Key. And basically what it does, it allows you to edit your keyboard. So it gives you like this nice keyboard with like like typing that you can like move around and stuff. So let's just open up this real quick. And let's just show you guys how this works. So if this loads up, so here we go, this is my keyboard right now, so let's just type something in. Yeah, see, it's, it's not that amazing, but I mean, it works for most words, and it learns from you, basically. So, yeah, so th this keyboard's pretty awesome. There's a bunch of gestures, so like, you can, you can do this. Let's just do this real quick, yeah, room. <laughs> Uh, let's try that, and then after we type something, then you can double click space, and it gives you a period at the end. So I mean, this is pretty cool. I mean, you you can um, all you have to do is just download this app, Swift Key. It's free on the App Store. Then you just go into your Settings app, and you just take a look at General, and then go down to Keyboard and Keyboards. You click, you click Swift key. You allow full access. Like first, you gotta add a new keyboard, obviously, and add Swift key. So, yeah, for that feature, that's it. And now I'm gonna show you guys a feature that Apple added to the camera, which I have not seen been added to any other phone. So here, I'm gonna show you guys real quick. So it basically gives you a time lapse mode. So there's this feature, and then you can say record things. I'm going to move really slowly just to show you guys how this is going to look afterwards. So you can record like a plant growing, I don't know, whatever you want. I don't really see the very big use for this, but I mean, if it's there, then it's there, I guess. So let's just open that up real quick. Oh, okay, I have to do that. Let's just play this. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't really want to work that good. So anyways, 
Uh, yeah, so that that's for the that's for the camera time lapse feature. Um, they didn't add too much. I've been looking over, and then they added this these useless apps that I find absolutely pointless. So here we go, useless crap. You can't remove these. So I just you know I just named this folder. They added like this little tips app, like for iOS eight tips, like on how to use it and stuff. It's not really that helpful. I mean. Why not just like YouTube this or something? And then uh, they added a podcasts app, which used to be something that you had to down, you could download from the app store. And now they just made it like that. They added a health app, like this kind of stuff. Don't know how that works. And they added iBooks, which I mean, for some people, it's pretty good. I like books, so. And the, for the last thing that they updated, I guess, because I couldn't really find much, is the this thing. When you double tap the home button, it shows you these little, uh, these things. So, yeah, it shows you, like, these little widgets, and you can text people, send people messages. So, I'm just going to go over what they edited in the settings app right now, because I don't really think they edited anything else in any other app from what I can tell so let's just go into that real quick yeah so they edited they made they added a few tabs like the iCloud tab the iTunes so basically they just rearranged the previous settings that were already there so yeah so now for my review of iOS 8 so I'm gonna give the general usage and the up like the updates and everything combined all together I'm gonna give that basically three stars because I mean I don't really see that big of a difference that Apple updated in iOS 8 like when they updated to iOS 7 that was really a big thing but now iOS 8 I mean it's not really that big so yeah so I'm gonna give it basically a three star rating if you guys enjoyed this video please leave a like please subscribe and make sure to comment below if you have any questions. So thanks for watching, guys. Peace out and see you in the next video. Hit that subscribe button. Okay.